on the corner, teaching stuff they absolutely have no idea about because they don't know about the shoppers in the body. They don't know about the Cosmo. They don't know about that everybody's connected. They don't know what they, they don't know what they're doing. Anybody can learn the Bible, master the Bible, master the scriptures. You got to go further than that. Pick another book up. Do something else. And meditate. Do yoga. Do something like that. You understand that? That's simple. Do you understand that, brother? See? You got that? Now go to Jeremiah 3 and 15. Because he asked how we were the leaders. You got it? The book of Jeremiah, chapter 3 and verse 15. And I will give you past. And I will give you what? And I will give you past. And I will give you what? And I will give you past. According to mine heart. According to what? According to mine heart. God said he's going to give us past. Read. We shall feed you with knowledge. We shall what? We shall feed you with knowledge. Hey, brother, brother, when the Bible says knowledge, what is it talking about? Yeah, I know. You don't, you don't want to deal with me because you've been embarrassed enough. So go ahead and talk to the camera. Yeah, listen, listen again. Read it again. And I will give you pastor according to my heart. We shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And it's not going to pass. No. God says that we should feed our people with knowledge and understanding. Give me Sirach chapter 42 and verse 7. Bring it out. All right. So this is what God says to do when you're dealing with an old, foolish man. I'm going to show you exactly what the Bible says. Yeah, I'm going to give that to you. It says, yep, be not ashamed. Sirach 40. Do you meditate? 40. 42 and 8. 42 and 8. 42 and 8. Yep. Yep. The book of Sirach, chapter 42 and verse 8. Be not ashamed to inform the unwise. Do what? Be not ashamed to inform the unwise and foolish in the extreme age. In what? The extreme age. The Bible says, be not ashamed to inform the extreme age. This young man knows no knowledge. No. God says. He don't say he said. You want to know who meditate? Give me Joshua 1 and 8. Bring it out. No, I'm not, I'm, I'm not talking to the Bible. Do you meditate? Yeah, I meditate. Okay, when you meditate, what happens? Huh? What happens? I get a deeper spiritual understanding. That's right. right. You come out They've never body? seen you before. Right. Do I come out of body? Yeah. Yeah, yeah according yeah, to the scripture. Yes, we are out of body experience right now. You, you, God says that we have been transformed God, by the renewing God of our mind. Yeah. That's what you fail to understand, brother. God when you apply God's laws, statutes, and commandments, He gives you a new creature. Hey, have you ever right. become a new creature? You That's haven't. Because right. you have not repented. Right. Right. I'm going to show you how to meditate according I, to the Bible. Right. This is good. Out of your the book of Joshua, chapter 1 and verse 8. This book of the law. This what? This book of the law. Oh, you don't like that law, do you? You hate the laws of God, don't you? You hate the laws of God. Look at good. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. God says that these laws shall not depart out of your mouth. Read. But thou shalt meditate. But thou shalt meditate. But thou shalt meditate. And God says you should meditate on what? God's law. Not on chakras. Not on science, right. not on white man's science. See, that's why I know he don't know your time line. You do your shoppers, you get all your shoppers through your meditation. Hey, so I know now let me ask you this. Where did you get your knowledge of shoppers? Just like you get your knowledge. Where did you get your knowledge of shoppers? Okay, I. Just like you get your knowledge. Where did you get it from? A book. Oh, here we go. Who wrote the book? <laughs> oh, silence! Look, you won't get mad at me. Oh, Lord. These are our people. Brother, where did you get the knowledge from? You ain't gonna give me a damn answer. I don't even like it. Everybody give me just that. I get it out of a book. Now he say everybody give him just fine, but when I was asking him, he said he needed a mic. He said he was overpowered by the mic. That's because he's young, he don't know too much. Uh -huh. You need to put that Bible down and get another book. Oh. I understand. Yeah, you ready. You do. Mm -hmm. Go to another book. See what knowledge you got here. God didn't say do that. God didn't tell you anything. Because you can't go get to it. Go to Isaiah 34 and 16. We're going to see can you listen. Apparently you deaf. You can't, you can't get to it. Because you didn't hear the scriptures that we God talked to you? Yes. Listen, I'm going to show you what he said. The book of Isaiah, chapter 34 and verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. What did he say? Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Now, let's see who said that. Because he asked God to talk to us. Listen good, now. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth, it hath commanded. 
And what? In his nothing. spirit, it you has take, gathered them. God's Lord, spirit you has gathered them. Right. So Man, now we're going to deal with our people. Right. All right. You take God, turn around, you so we're going to show you a scripture. You According to the Bible. Take the yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Black, brother, black. Look, I'm going to read something to you out of another book that coincides another with the Bible. Book. From Babylon to Timbuktu, page 123. Like the black Jews in America, some of the Jews of Guinea don't remember their original nationality. Yeah. That's right, though. Hey, can I find for you? Is that good? That was another book that said, guess what? That you, being a Jew, would not okay. remember your I'll, nationality. I'll give you something. You give me something that's not in the book. Okay. What sense would that make? Because guess what? Now we're doing the same thing that our people have been doing for years. That's not why we're out here. We're out here to wake our people up to that true nationality. You can, you, if, that's what we have to do. If oh, you, you say we can't if, do if, it? If you're not talking about you don't even tell something. One second. If, if you're not waking your people up to what's in their water, what's in their food, what they put up under their arms, what they wash with, see, 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 I'm getting this solution for you. If, if you ain't telling them what's in your, what's in your water right now, what's what for me, for me, for right now? Okay, you know, I got some tablets in my car right now, you don't know about that stuff. In order to teach people, you got to know what's right. The water is bad, get in water, you can buy from snow, all that stuff. Hey, get the test of water. Oh, uh, so, now, what you, what you fail to understand is our people have been in a situation you with bad water. We've been no in a idea. situation where our food has been defiled. Right. When you read the Bible, what we are going through today is nothing new. That's have right. you ever heard of the Babylonian captivity? Have you ever heard of the siege of Jerusalem right. in 70 AD? Right. This is nothing new. Now I'm going to show you the solution to the problem. Wow, our water is bad. Our food is bad. What do we do? Is that the solution? Let's see what God says. Read that. The book of the book of Ezekiel, chapter four and verse fourteen. Then said I. Four and thirteen. The book of Ezekiel, chapter four and verse thirteen. And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel. Even thus shall the children of who? Of Israel. The children of Israel. You are an Israelite according to the Bible. You understand that? I heard, according I heard to the Bible. Israelite yes. You are. Yeah. You are Hebrew, right? This is good. This is what God said you have to do. Even thus, said the children of Israel, eat their defiled bread. Eat what? Their defiled bread. Eat what? Their defiled bread. Where? Among the Gentiles. Among who? The Gentiles. That's when right. you read the Bible, you being an Israelite, it was prophesied that you would be scattered through the four corners of the earth. That's right. Right. And one of the curses that you are going to be under is that you are going to eat defiled foods in a land that is not yours. Right. Right. And what you fail to understand is the solution to the problem is not a water bill. The solution to the filth, to the problem is not you growing a garden. Right. The solution to the problem is you coming back to God's law. That's, that's, right. that's, right. that's what you fail to understand, brother. Right. Because the power that is against you is mightier than any filter system you can create. Right. God has placed us in this situation. Right. And he's the only person that can get us out. So you right. don't like that, do you? You want to be your you, own you wait, you wait until Jesus come back down yes. and say, Absolutely. You, Give me that first piece. Give me that first piece. Y'all don't. You guess ain't what? No God you already never. said exactly you what you said. No who ain't never I'm going to show you what's waiting for you if you don't repent, brother. You when got you that? Go to church, wait a minute. When you go to church, you see your steep on top of your church. The, you got one. the book of First Peter, chapter 3 and verse 9. The Lord is not slack. The what? The Lord is not slack. This brother said, hey, brother, and have you, you ever heard of Jonah? Mass, look at the steeple. It's brother, the same design. Listen good. Have you ever heard of uh, hey, Jonah? Noah? I don't care about that. Have you ever heard of Noah? No, I don't know. Wait. No. That's all. That's all. Hey, Jonah, have you ever heard of Noah? Yeah. What, what happened? Don't matter. Ah. You tell me what happened. I'm going to read it. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 3 and verse 9. The Lord is not slack. Concerning his front, I thought you were gonna read. as some men count slack, as some men, unspiritual men like yourself, count slackness. Read, but his long suffering. But his what? But his long suffering. Right. Because guess what? In the past, the Most High probably would put you to death already. But all praise to the Most High. We are here to teach you repentance, brother. Read to us, uh -huh. not willing that any should perish. That what? Not willing that any should perish. That's why we come out here and teach our people because we don't want our people to perish. We come out no here to teach you no, so you can change. Okay, you've you been talking for 30 minutes. But that all should come to repentance. But that what? But that all should come to repentance. But that all 
should come to repent. That's why we are here. Read. But the day of the Lord uh -huh. shall, will come as a thief in the night. But what? But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Read. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, uh -huh. and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also in the Hold on, slow down, slow down. Read verse uh, 10 again. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. But God says the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night. Not because you give your Because guess what? The same man, way, listen, listen, word, listen. The, 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 the white man in suburbia, he don't think anybody can break into his house. Right. That's just like you. When is, when is that guy going to come back? Right. When is that guy going to come back? Right. When is that Jesus Christ going to come back? Right. God already got a scripture for you. Keep reading. And the witch, the heavens, shall pass away with a great noise. And guess what? In that night when you think that Jesus Christ ain't real, the heavens going to pass away with a great noise. Do you know what that noise is? It ain't got nothing to do with me. Do you know it? Oh, it got a lot to do with you. Do, do you, you know, know what that noise is? No, do you know I what don't. that noise is? You gonna tell me? Ah, you. thank you. I'll tell you. Have you ever heard of nuclear missiles? Bring it up. Okay, tell me. ICBM atomic missiles. Bombs. Have you ever heard of that? Atomic bomb. Uh uh. The most high credit is something better than the atomic bomb. That's right. Intercontinental ballistic missiles. Right. Right. Have you ever heard of that? No. Oh yeah. I'm trying to teach you. I'm gonna edify you today. This is good. Cause he said for scorners like you, that's why he had to create something that might. This is good. In the elements. In the elements. So much. With uh -huh. fervent heat. And the elements gonna melt with what is the element? What is the element? The earth also uh -huh. and the, the works element? that are therein uh -huh. shall be burned up. The works and the elements shall be burned up. This is good. See that they see it then that all these things shall be dissolved. Seeing that all these things that you see in front of you are going to be dissolved. What are they? What, are they what matter of person? What what? What hey, manner of hey, person? I'm what manner what? A person I need to be in all holy you know, conversation he, he and godliness. Keep listening. Looking for and hastening to the coming of the day. There you go. You're looking for and hastening the coming of the day of who? Of God. We're in the heavens being on fire. And we're in the what? The heavens being on fire shall be dissolved in the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And the elements shall melt hey, with fervent what, what, heat. What's the element? What's the element? You know, what's the element? Don't worry, it's gonna be burned up. You okay, know what elements the element? is? Wood, what stone, uh, gold, what? all that. Yeah. It's gonna be iron. What? Are what? Your now what? Elements? Now what? What are your elements? Now what? What are your now what? elements? Now what? Oh, you mad I do, do you, the elements? You don't know what your uh, elements are. You, you, you know why you don't know? Nevertheless, you don't read the one we, According to his promise, we according to what? His promise. Look for new heaven. We look for new heaven. Read in a new earth, uh -huh. where we dwell in righteousness. So that's what we're looking for. We are waiting on the new heaven and the new earth. And, and, and brother, and, guess what? We're out here for you, whether something. you believe it or not. Yeah, right. I, the scripture I'll says, "Be not ashamed to inform the aged and unwise." The right. That's why we come out here to teach our people. Because we love our people. Right. It's funny to me that we come out here to teach our people and everybody people becomes a Bible love, scholar. People say they love Where is his form at? Why is he not teaching his people? Where is his school? When you're, right. when you're kids, because when what he teaches, he's teaching out of envy and hatred for his own people. That's right. Meanwhile, we come out here to rebuke because we love our people. Give me that in uh, Luke. Luke 14. And uh, 28. Go to the hour in the Bible. Luke 21. Wow. 20. Not a saint, 14 and 20. Church. Read that. Read that. The book of Luke, chapter 14 and verse 23. Uh -huh. And the Lord said unto his servant, Go out into the highways and hedges. Which ain't gonna hey, brother, the Bible Jesus says, Go out into the highways and the hedges. If you got so much understanding, carry on down the street and teach somebody. Read. And compel them to come. And compel them. And compel them to come in. So, if you got so much knowledge and understanding, go compel your people to come in. You gather your people together. You get your signs together. You get your mic. You get your camera. And you teach your people. Until then, shut up and learn the Bible. Because that's what we're going to teach. I ain't going to make you leave. But you're going to look like a fool. I'm just going to tell you that. You're messing with the wrong people. We study this like, Bible. You they, you the right here, God, God has the understanding that you don't pertain. Right. Give me Psalm hey, 11 and 10 hey, again. Talk to your people. Talk to your people. There we go. Good. Hey, the man got the camera on me. 
Uh -huh. I dare you to put it on me. Yeah. If that's you got it on me, that means I can talk to it. Go right? ahead. Okay, I'm talking Listen. to you. I ain't talking to you. The book of Psalms, chapter 111, uh -huh. the fear of the Lord uh -huh. is the beginning uh -huh. of wisdom. Uh -huh. A good understanding uh -huh. of all they that do his commandments. So God says, a good understanding have all they that do his commandments. What you're looking at is men that keep God's laws, statutes, and commandments to a T. Right. We're not out here talking in pretense. We're not hypocrites. We apply God's laws, statutes, and commandments every day. That's why you see us many times throughout the week teaching the Bible. It just ain't a Saturday thing. That's what our people fail to understand. Right. Now, let's get, what is the understanding of love? Because a lot of people might say, oh, that wasn't love. That wasn't love according to the Bible. Give me that in 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3. Bring it out. Because Christianity has destroyed the hearts and minds of a lot of our people. Yeah. We do not understand the simple things, what a lot of people call common sense. Let me show you what love is according to the Bible. The book of 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3. Uh -huh. For this is the love of God. For what? For this is the love of God. Read. That we keep his commandment. That we what? That we keep his commandment. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.